New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. Today we have a relatively new tool from Harbor Freight that I would like to share with you guys. I did purchase this with my own money, so it's not sponsored in any way. What you're looking at is the 20 volt battery operated 10 inch double bevel sliding compound miter saw. I do have a smaller miter saw, it's under the Bauer brand. I did do a review on that. I will put a link in the description in case you're interested, but I needed something a little bit bigger and this should satisfy my needs. In Inside the box, you're going to find the manual, the clamp, a dust bag, and the saw itself. Now, my first glance right out of the box is this saw is built extremely well. It's very heavy duty. It feels very heavy and everything seems to be machined very nicely. Being a miter saw, you can adjust the angle and there is an angle indicator. And to change that angle, you can press down on this red button and it does have detents for the common angles. So that way you can quickly get to those common angles that you may be cutting with. It does have an infinite amount of angles. So you can press this red button down and shove it in and that kind of frees it up to go anywhere you would like it to go and then to lock it in place you take this black handle on the outside and shove it straight down once that handle is shoved down it is locked in place and it's not going to go anywhere so you don't have to twist the handle to tighten it down like some of the older style of miter saws and because it is a double bevel sliding compound saw well you can also change the pitch of that blade there is a bevel degree indicator so you can tell exactly what pitch you are currently set to and to adjust that there's a handle in the back you can pull that handle down and tip it to whatever degrees you need it to be pull the handle back and that locks it firmly in place. And if you need to access that with your left hand, it's not a big deal because the lever goes all the way through. So you can access that on the left side and you can also see the gauge on the left side as well. And as indicated in the name, after all it says double bevel sliding compound saw, it does slide on these rails and it slides extremely smoothly, I must add. So there's probably some really high end bearings in this particular model. The fence can be extended and everything locks down by knobs. So if you want to lock it in place, you certainly can. The grab rails also extend a little bit and also lockable by a knob and the grab Grab rails are kind of tall enough that it acts like a little bit of an extension to the table, so I think that's kind of nice. There is a locking pin that allows you to lock the saw in its down position. There's also a knob that allows you to lock the position on the bar so it can't travel. The saw does require two batteries, two 20 volt batteries, and it says minimal five amp hour or greater. We're going to use two five amp hour batteries because, well, that's what I currently have charged, but it'll take the bigger ones if you have them. Those batteries clip in just like any other Hercules battery, and just like the Bauer Miter saw it uses a shadow to cast the line onto your work i really appreciate this you don't have to worry about ever aligning any lasers it's just using a simple light and casting a shadow from the blade itself so the big question in everybody's mind is how well does it work well let's find out i have a two by six in here it's just standard pine we're going to make a cut and see how well it handles cutting that And just as expected, it was pretty much like butter. Now let's plunge through a two by four sitting on its edge. We'll see how it handles that. And again, it had no problem at all. The blade that is provided does an extremely good job as I would expect out of a Hercules blade. Remember Hercules is Harbor Freight's top tier. And for a quick final test, I think we'll cut this two by eight. This is treated pine. And again, it had no problems whatsoever making this cut. So what are my final thoughts of this Hercules saw? Well, I think it's built really well. The build quality seems to be precision all the way around. Everything is very smooth. Everything glides very easily. And there pretty much isn't a lot of slop anywhere on this saw. It seems to have adequate power and it comes with a pretty good blade as well. What is even more impressive is this particular saw comes with a five year warranty. So if you have any problems with this saw at all, you just go back to Harbor Freight and they will make your purchase good. I am a little bit biased on a Hercules brand from Harbor Freight, but that is because most of my power tools carry that Hercules name and I really have never had any problems with them. If for any reason I have any problems with this saw in the future, I will put it in a pinned comment down below. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. At the very least, you might be entertained.